Good morning, folks. We've got a little bit to discuss across a wide range of topics, including solar flare modulation by the planets and some funny climate change math. But first, we'll begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find one of the filaments crossing the disk destabilized and collapsed, causing a solar tsunami of fire to race away from the collapsed site. Minor ejecta tried to release, but I don't even think it made it out of the corona. Today, the primary watch has got to be the million-kilometer filament structure turning across center longitudes today. Solar flaring, I know that looks like a little mountain by comparison, but not even hitting C-class level is less like something scary and more like trying to sneak quietly through the living room and stubbing your toe on the couch. Sunspots are so small right now, I don't even know if you can see them without really zooming in. Solar wind here, telemetry has been calming a bit as we exit faster streams, and Earth's magnetic field is calming nicely. It's time to fix an error. This is two days ago when the southern coronal holes took their turn on the disk, but look at that part over on the left. That's not in the southern system, it's part of the north. This is incredibly close coronal segment orientation, and folks, eyes wide open for a rapid shift in the magnetic character of the solar wind in the coming days, and another minor quake watch. Rest of the northern opening is creeping into view top left as well. Up next, folks, there's been virtually no carbon emissions rise in three years. Peak emission advancement occurred during the global warming plateau, and the moment we cut back emissions advancement, we got the record El Nino and heat events. Last 20 years is a complete failure in terms of temperature predictions. Up next, a confirmation and clarification on planetary geometry and solar flares. Apparently, Mercury's perihelion and its alignments with the Earth are what seem to trigger sunspot production and flaring activity. How many published works does it take for something to be mainstream? because this is about number 30. Fun stuff. Website members, the book and the disaster prediction app are primary focal points for my time right now, but we do have two deeper looks coming for you later this week, and the latest Fly on the Wall episode is apparently a listener favorite, so check that out if you haven't. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.